This is the secret diary of Guru Douchebag Pickles. It was recovered from the smoldering remains of the Pickles residence by Zachary Hedgehog and posted on DeviantArt, but then he got banned, at which time a user known has panicked to go to make a Speakonia tribute video of it on YouTube. However he was recently terminated as well, so Tark Denver has decided to resurrect the Pulitzer Prize winning diary yet again, by making his own video of it and posting it on his YouTube channel. Dear Diary, Angelica is eating too many cookies. She has just been issued juvenile diabetes today. When we got home she wanted a cookie. I offered broccoli, but she told me to go fuck myself. I grounded her from DD for a month. She then kicked my coin purse. That hurt. All my priceless foreign coins went down the air vent. Being 20 sucks. We got a new Asian sister that our father named Lou Pickles, Lou Drews to reference. She constantly told us her name was Kira Watanabe. Dad sent her back, and I thought that would be the last time I would see her. She may end up marrying chess club geek Chaz Finster. Edit, I hate being a psychic, please kill me now. My nephew, the only person who may understand me, and I rarely speak with turn one today. Tommy got a kick-ass fire truck, but Angelica, being a bitch took it away. I did a pulpit show with my autistic little brother Stuart, or Stu. We got in a fight. I started to cry about a toy incident back when we were little. After the party, I cut myself to ease the mental pain. It finally goddamn happened. Angelica got kicked out of preschool, especially the name being called St. Bernadette's of Joe Ice Witnesses Church. She said Jesus couldn't turn water into wine. That is silly. She got served from the witnesses. When I picked her up, I heard her usual crying. I gave her a lollipop filled with cough syrup. Hanukkah sucked at Boris and Minkus. Boris called Minka just outchinities. I didn't know what the hell it meant. I then looked it up in the Orthodox Russian translator. It meant, a goat's vagina. Della is retarded. He drank a whole gallon of gasoline today, and his mom and dad called poison control. Surprisingly they had the number on speed dial. Didi was knocked up by her aerobics instructor on the cruise. Stu was gambling at the time. Stu bankrupt the house and car and surprisingly Tommy also. So Julio Estevez will be the baby's bio father. Dill was born, except to cut off Dill's manhood instead of his cord, so he will be called Rosemary. Poor little shit. Angelica complained about not wanting to go with Stu and Didi to the ski area. I told her that there would be a spa and she said, okay. After I left, Charlotte asked, is there a spa? And I said no. We need her to get out of the fucking house. She downloaded preteen porn which crashed the internet. My car Michael Susie's father beat the living shit out of me the day after a Bill Cosby joke. I gave him a bowl of jello, and then said drop a load, and he pummeled me to the ground. I was diagnosed with lymphoma yesterday. The doc said I have four months to live. She then asked, are you gonna miss your wife and daughter, and I said no. They are the reincarnations of Paris Hilton and Adolf Hitler. I went into the kitchen last night and I saw brown spots all over. I asked Angelica, were you making chocolate pudding? She said no, then I tasted it and I puked in the trash tail. I then ripped off Angelica's clothes, threw her in the backyard, and I grabbed Charlotte and went straight to a comfort inn, where we rocked the casbah. We found out our beloved cat Fluffy died. Angelica cried for three years, until she got over it. I didn't last two days. I am now in a cold grave with a hole in my head. In fact, why the hell am I writing? Am I the bitch in this relationship? After she was being delirious of making Lil disappear, I told her- I think you've been watching too many cartoons. She started to throw a tantrum. When I brought her into the house she bit off my left ear and spit it out. We fought for hours until Stu came in and said, Damn, she pulled a Mike Tyson on you borrow. While eating a spaghetti dinner, Angelica asked me, Where do babies come from? I then told her, from a disease-infected prostitute whom I gave a job at a low-rate company with a suck-up named Jonathan. She said what? Then Charlotte said, eat your salad, Angelica. Charlotte then gave me the finger. We issued our 120th Ember Alert in two weeks today. We found them however by a dumpster filled with medical waste. Two weeks later all of them except for Chucky, who had immunity died of SIDS. I just saw four kids TV, and I love it so much. The voice actors are awesome. I can't believe they edit the anime to make it family safe. I think it's way better. Angelica hates it though. She says it's more boring than shit so I grounded her. One week later I posted what I thought of four kids on the internet. My computer got hacked into. So sad. I wonder why. Charlotte left me yesterday. 
She left me with Angelica. I asked her why she left me custody of Angelica. She replied by saying that if she was with Angelica she would be in the obituaries in under one week. Entitled Charlotte Pickles, 32, couldn't deal with daughter's constant bitching anymore. My father knew died yesterday I was the happiest kid in the world, and people stared at my freaky teeth a smile while I was listening to the eulogy. People told me I was gonna burn in hell when I die. I replied with a smart-ass comment saying dot 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 I am Muslim bitches. And now a bonus. Angelica's Diary with Drew's Secret Diary. Tear Cynthia's Top Secret Diary. I never told anyone about why Cynthia is in horrible shape, but I told my daddy this morning and said I think Cynthia has cancer, and her hair is falling out. Then, before I knew it, my daddy locked me out of the house. Now back to Drew's Secret Diary movie, winking frowning face. Locking Angelica out of the house was a brilliant idea. Charlotte and I finally got some alone time, and we were gonna try to have another baby dot 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 unaware that Angelica was kicking and screaming on the glass door, and we didn't know until she climbed to our two-story window, and Angelica saw us. Well let's just say it led to Angelica's two-story fall putting her in the hospital for two months. Coping with Angelica's death, not. We redecorated her room as a miniature golf set. Our series was cancelled after the main actors died. They took our houses, and I have one question. Why does the show circle around retarded babies? Why can't I have my own spin-off, called Drew Pickles? Edit Drew Pickles was picked up as a pilot, but after a minute, it was cancelled after seeing my face on DD. Another edit and now I got sued after 1,241 people tried to gouge their eyes out after seeing that face on DD. I replied on the news when I said, it's not like that Pokemon Caesar. Honest. I read it and I am burning my house down with me inside it. In fact, after I write this sentence, I am gonna sniff and drink ammonia. There now I can be with Angelica forever. So, sleepy. Hey, what's that orange stuff? Point. Oh my god.